Hello today and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Chelsea's squads, finances and overall setup in the brand new squeaky clean Football Manager 2018. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. If you're curious to know what I look like, here's, a, here's what some people think I look like. Uh, if you don't believe me, it just gives you much, much more reason to stick around and uh, also subscribe. In, in, in some of my other videos, I do like to show my face, just not these ones, because I'm keep my eyes open with toothpicks right now, uh, and I look like cack. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber, let's jump straight in with the start of this video. So here we are with the Chelsea thing, Conte's out, I am in. Waste no more time, and I'm going to just try and show you what it is, what the setup is for Chelsea in the brand new FM18. Looks like you're off to Germany and the States. A couple of games, Orlando City, both New York sides, and uh, off to Hamburg too. So that's going to be an interesting pre-season for, for Chelsea. Obviously Chelsea, multiple Premier League winning champions now. And uh, started off, eh. So far in the actual 2017-2018 season, let's take a look at the serious meat of the matter. How much transfer budget are you going to have for the season? It looks like a pretty, pretty tidy fee. You've got 64 million straight off the bat. Uh, just like all the other squads, you can tweak it somewhat. Currently 64 million, like I said, with a wage budget of 3 million squid. You can raise your budget all the way up to 78 million, should you like, but it will drastically reduce your wage budget to 2.7 and you are currently playing with 2.6 so realistically you're going to be able to bring in one monster player on 78 million uh, and maybe be able to squeeze him in onto your uh, onto your wages situation um, let's have a look at your youth setup um, I'm not sure how well regarded Chelsea's youth setup it is but uh, a quick overview here You've got three keepers on the books a Croat a, a Frenchman and a six foot two English fella, George McEachern, possibly related to the other McEachern fella who never really made the grade. A lot of hype was surrounding the other, the other fella. Maybe we can get a bit of an insight on this guy. Um, I'm still trying to find my feet with these, um, with this new setup. I am been out of the FM game for a whopping 10 years or so so it's it's pretty risky anyway let's take a look at the most expensive player in your under under 18s Billy Gilmore Scottish fella for the future oh yeah a uh, bit of a he needs to pile on the pounds 136 pounds so he's uh, uh, for me I think he needs to beef up a chunk uh, 16 years old ranked 150 uh, McEachern in there also valued 150 but anyway let's pu push on forward what does dynamics do here um, okay, this is something new. I've not, not really explored this with the other videos I set out already. Uh, Apandu and Hudson Odoi seem to be the key, uh, potentially influential figures of the future. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the under 23s and get these sorted out in an order I can read. Uh, quite a few future or uh, possibly future goalkeepers on the books. Uh, Jamal Blackman's been there a while, 23 years old right now. Eduardo also been there a few years, 34 years of age. Will he make it to the World Cup squad for the Portuguese? I don't think so. Macha Dilak, 24 years old from Croatia. Mitchell Beanie, 21 years old. He could be the future. Doesn't look like it. He looks like he's on loan. Uh, uh, wanted for... They want rid of him, basically. Um... Marcin Pulaka, another youngster, 17 years old. Chelsea have a extensive under-23 setup here with a lot of players out on loan. Um, and a lot of players that I've never heard of. A couple of work permit snags that need addressed. Um, so if you're going to take over Chelsea in your one of your first games, be prepared to deal with some paperwork. Um... But you do have a you do have the makings of a cracking side, uh, especially considering a lot of these guys are decent of age. Take a look at the value. Obviously, Kurt Zuma out on loan in Stoke, I believe. Uh, Van Ginkel also out on loan somewhere. Where is he on loan? A PSV. Um, uh, those two players under twenty five. Baba Rahman, um, Ghanaian left back, eighteen million value. A lot of other players. 
Loftus Cheek offer my German club, Munching Gladbach, I believe. No, tell a lie, tell a lie. He's at uh, Crystal Palace. Tommy Abraham, we know uh, about him. He's started the season pretty decent at um, Todd Kane, 6.5 million. Now, uh, Sports Interactive, uh, whoever's been scouting Todd Kane and valued him at 6.5 million pounds needs to get that addressed. I know, remember he was at Rovers a couple seasons and he was pretty, pretty shitty, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Do not rate him whatsoever. 6.5 minutes. What a joke. Anyway, moving down, further down. A lot of other youngsters in there. Juan Castillo. Very Spanish-sounding name, but he's from Holland. Um, let's jump into the meat of the action and take a look at the big boys here. This is your... This is what you've got to play with. Obviously, two decent goalkeepers, Caballero and Courtois. Uh, pretty well, you got some aging fellas in here. Gary Cahill's, uh, you know, his best days are probably behind him. Probably maybe got a good season or two left in him. Charlie Masunda, who's this fella? 20 years old, ranked at 11 million. Williams wanted. Man United? No, Madrid. And they've stuck Batshui on the transfer list for zero. That can't be right. Let's take a gander at this. Nah. Anyhow, just a quick glance at them. Who's the most valuable player on the books? Obviously, it's Eden Hazard. Morata's in there. Who is the tallest member of your books? Well, it's not Pedro. He's the shortest. Courtois, 6'6". Six, six. Uh, Gary Cahill, 6'4". Um, uh, let's go to something that really does matter. And that is contract expiry. Only the one guy. Killian Hazard. Killian Azar, that's, 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 that's one I've not really heard of. I mean, he must be a, a, a relation of um, Eden. And I know they have Torin Azar, who's at, who is at Munchen Glad Bank. So this must be the third brother. In fact, there might have been a bit of a synopsis right there. It's a name that's probably familiar, football fans, in Hungary than England. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Surely. Yeah, it must be. He must be... Uh, a relation of those anyway contract expiry does run out um something you might want to address other ones pretty secure we've got f four five six seven players who run out in two seasons but they seem to have done their business well unlike some clubs um also in london uh what else are we gonna go have a quick sneak peek at the board um try to find the area Competition performance. Okay, that's what we want to see. Premier League. Qualify for the European Champions League. That's the minimum they want. Uh, FA Cup. They want me in the final. Charity Shield. Not bothered. Carabao Cup. Not bothered. As for the Champions League, they want me to go to the quarterfinals. Big asks. Tall orders. But can it be done? We shall see. Uh, quick look at the dynamics. You can, you can pause this if you want. Um... Hierarchy. This is some of the players that you'll be looking uh, to lead your team with captain's armband. Probably Gary Cahill, maybe Louise. Social groups. These are the key players for youngsters to look towards for mentors and and such. Uh, I don't know why he's in there. He's he's one to look on the lookout for a mentor. I don't know why he's up there. Um, happiness. Overall happiness. Uh, you would say the squad level is chipper. Um, team report again a lot of text here feel free to pause the video and have a look yourself squad depth um, consider William as a striker that's a, that's a stretch uh, yeah pretty pretty well based overall realistically I don't know why they're struggling in the real deal with Conte uh, as gaffer maybe it's just um, you know he's he's finding it a bit tough now and is in his, his next season but anyway that's um that's by the by so that's a quick overview of chelsea uh, that's pretty much all i have for you if there's something i've missed please leave a comment in the section below i do plan to do each and every premier league team over the next few days however if there is a team out there in the world in a division that hardly or you know never gets covered you want to know a little bit more about them please uh, scribble them down in the comments below and i'll do i'll try and do a video just for you because these take only a few minutes uh, but moving forward, once the initial crisis of the beta and the actual release of FM18 does calm down, I do plan to do some game saves and I have some cracking ones in the pipeline. So please be sure to stick around. But until next time...
Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.